did you go without saying goodbye? Mother, you're in here. How come no one told me? I'm sorry, my son. I came here to talk with you. Sit down. Mother, what is it? I'm all ears. I just had a look at your royal records. You've seen Huan Yun over ten times these days. She's come here only a single time. And you've never seen any other concubine yet. Mother, why'd you read the records? Having an heir is so important. It's my business. Yan, you can do what you like with Concert Xiao. It was my idea to have you marry that woman. But time's passed and she hasn't conceived. Do you think it's fine if I've no grandchildren? Mother, I said I only like Huan Yun. There's nobody else that I want. Nothing will change that. And I told you many times, she doesn't have to give you kids. Somebody else can. Yan, don't force me now, because you know that my family has influence in the royal court. If you don't have a child very soon, I will tell the ministers to force you to dispose Concert Xiao. Mother, you can't do that. Huan Yun's innocent. You and I both know that she's not innocent. You're foolish. And as your mother, I can't be foolish as well. Remember, you only have half a year to give us a new heir to the throne. Consort Xiao, you might be delicate, but you must hold those teachings very calmly. I'm sorry about today, but it is the Empress who ordered this. She needs you to learn well. To Consort Xiao, who runs the royal harem, she should be virtuous, and she must be tolerant. Since the day you've been married, you've had no children. The Empress is sad and anguished. Your Majesty, it's bad. Your mother has issued a decree to punish the consort at the temple. Why would she? Your Majesty, won't you go in? No, I can't go in. Huan Yun's a proud woman. She wouldn't want me to see her like this. From now onwards, you have to repent for this, or else your punishment will be much more severe. Concert Xiao, have you listened? Indeed I have. Concert Xiao. You've suffered. We have finished for today. You may get up now. Do you know how she is? The maids at her hall said she cried a lot. She's asleep. Good to know. If she's well tomorrow, 
I'll bring her something nice to lift her spirits. Yanfu? Yes. I don't want maids here tonight. I would like to be alone. All right. wanted me to do this to you. Someone! Come in here! Get out of here! Get out now! Aren't you pleased with the beauty I gave you? Were you really behind this? Yes, of course. I was blamed for taking your attention away from other girls, wasn't I? And so, I made arrangements immediately. Except, it was hard finding a girl in the harem who looked like me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. You! You've gone way too far. I only want you, okay? I don't want to see other women. But you dare treat me like this? You think you can? Just... Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Your Majesty! What's happening? <laughs> Get a doctor! Get a doctor! Get a doctor now! Absurd, absurd. Xiao Huanyun, if he doesn't make it, then I will kill you. Empress, please calm down. Let's hear the doctor first. How is he doing? Will he wake up? Empress, his majesty fainted suddenly, and his anger caused his blood to rise. It might look bad, but he'll be okay. He will recover quickly. He just needs the acupuncture treatment for now. Yan, how are you? Tell me. Mother. Yes, I'm here. I'm glad you're okay. I'm so glad you're okay. Empress, his majesty needs rest for a couple days. He should remain in his home. Yes, of course. Yan, recover well. I will handle the court matters. Where is she? I'm right here. Yan, she caused such trouble tonight. You can't let her off. You spit blood because of her. Next time, she might just... People, listen to me. Concert Xiao will be punished. She'll lose her status. She'll be made a commoner immediately. Yes. Hold on. Mother, I spit blood tonight because of my illness. This was not her fault. Yan, stop trying to protect this woman. Mother, you may do anything you want to me, but if something happens to Huan Yun, then I'll kill myself. All right, fine. I will withdraw my orders. Empress, please slow down. I'm sorry. I hope you get well. Please leave. I don't want to see you.
Madam, I have discovered what you wanted to find out. Prince Changguang is in Sui Zhao right now, and the flood is receding. That's great. Huh. Thank you. If you hear of any other news, tell me as soon as you can. Don't worry. I will tell you. In the harem, only you will be the first person to hear about Prince Changguang. Madam, why do you care about the prince? Are you too... You're wrong. It's because... because my cousin went along with Prince Changguang. So I'm quite worried. Oh, now I see. Uh, madam, you should go over to Siu Wen Hall. This morning, the steward that was sent here by Prince Chang Guang made a report, so maybe he's free to talk now. Right. Good idea. You may leave. Thank you, Madam Shun. everybody get to? May I help you, madam? Well, maybe. I'm Madam Shen. Oh, Madam Lu asked you to come. I must deliver this letter from His Highness. Maybe you could give her the letter for me, please. Oh. Sure, that's fine. I'll give it to Madam Lu. Thank you. Where is everyone? Jen, I'm here. I've been gone for days. Being away from you has made my heart yearn. I lost my temper when I last saw you. I didn't consider your feelings. Please forgive me for what I said. Jen, we made a pledge to go through life without regret. Why didn't he mention me? Sir Xiao, since you despise Lu Zhen, this time you will become the villain of this story. The annual exam for palace officials will now begin. Brushes. Female officials, Lu Jin, Shen Bi, are you two ready to begin the second exam? We're, We're ready. You had their position before. You may do the appraisal. Yes. Bee's embroidery shows great skills and nice colors. I give top marks. Many thanks, madam. Looking at Jen's work, I see great shading and vivid patterns. 
In my opinion, Jen's work is much better. Lu Jen, I remember when you came to me, your skills weren't great. I didn't expect that you would improve so rapidly. The Phoenix Tale is especially good. Someone who has done this for many years wouldn't have been this skilled. Yes, it's true. I wasn't that good. I must thank Madame Wong for this. She made me stitch many clothes, and practice makes perfect. As for the tail, it's because of all the carving I've practiced. And over time, my wrist has become stronger. All right. The results are out. Lu Jin, Shen Bi, you have both passed. could do a phoenix tail before. Were you trying to use today to make me look terrible? You're joking, right? I learned that skill from other maids by chance. Besides, even though we were marked, your skills are so good. If you want me to, I can teach you. I don't want the results. Huh. The results. They finished all They're the results. Out. The results. impressive woman. Keep it up. You did so well today. If everything keeps going well, you'll get your rank back. Mm. Thanks for your kind words. I have a decree. The Empress, the young official Lu Jun, was recently demoted down to an eighth rank. But she has been working hard, and she received first place in the exam. So for her reward, she will now receive her seventh rank status once again. That's all. Thank you, Thank you Empress. Please rise. Lu Jun. The Empress had made this decree long ago. She wanted me to announce it to you after the results. My child, you haven't disappointed either of us. Many thanks, Madam Lo. Lu Zhen, no one else has achieved what you have. Since His Majesty's reign, you've been the most promising amongst all new officials. Thank you, Madam Chen. You have to keep up the good work. Yes, Madam. What do we do about this? Nothing. Consort Xiao is not in a good place. Let these women enjoy themselves for now. Hey. Hi, Yuan Fu. Madam Lu. Going for a walk? I'm going to find a friend. This way's faster. Uh, tell me, is His Majesty okay? Not great. He just left Zhao Young Hall to sit here and feel better. Oh, then I won't disturb you. I'll go. Right. Hey, Jen. Come here and sit with me. Of course. Your Majesty. Just relax. Jen, it's been quite a long time. Please sit down. Yes. Here, 
You must try this. They're from far out west. Expensive. <sighs> Tasty? Mmm. It's sweet. Don't be so formal with me. I just had a fight with Huan Yun. I'm upset. So I need a friend to be here and be honest with me. Majesty, you shouldn't keep your pain inside. Zan said that... Uh, no, the prince. The prince told me that you and Consort Xiao have had a long marriage. It should be easy to make up. You won't say John's name? When he went away, you weren't there. Did you have a fight too? Um, we both said some hurtful things. We had a fight. But do you miss him now? Mm. I'm sure he misses you. A fight is nothing, if love is still there. Not like one you. That woman has never felt any love for me. Majesty, it's a blessing to have her nearby. It's also good you can quarrel. Unlike me, even if I want to, I just can't fight. Majesty, I'd like to know where he is now. When will he be back? The flooding there is serious. It'll take him half a year or three months. You don't know where he is? Didn't he write to you? My sister and I got letters from him last night. I never got one. How come he didn't write me? Maybe it just got lost. It's okay. I... I don't blame him. Listen. This is not a big deal. Oh, you've come back. There's a letter. Oh. When was this delivered? Just last night. But you were asleep because of your examination. Ah, oh, sister, how'd the exam go? You're just asking me now? The fact is, I've succeeded in getting back my seventh rank. Really? That means you've got to buy me some food, because I stupidly gave all my crispy cookies to Yuan Lu, and I kept none for myself. Oh, you. You're such a glutton. Okay, go out. I'll get you some food later. Go ahead. Wait, outside. wait, sister, I still want to talk to you. Why do you want to make me go out? Oh, I get it. That letter is from your love, Prince Changguang, right? Hey, just go outside. Uh, come on. wrote this. How would you know? The day before he left, Yuan Lu came here. He told me that the prince was drinking all night, and he'd say your name. He said I should look after you. It was a real shame that you were busy with Madame Lo on that day. Or else you would have seen the prince. He actually tried to find you at your work. 
I was busy with Madame Lo. Mm. But apart from seeing her today, I haven't been with her. You're sure? Something's odd. That day, I went to find you to say that the prince was leaving soon. But a palace maid stopped me at the door. She said that you were with Madame Lo then, and I had to wait. No, I was revising that day. I was with B. <sighs> and B said, I should sleep there. Maybe. I know now. Somebody knew the prince was leaving and then they withheld it. So you wouldn't know. Who would have done that? Maybe Madame Wong. But then, why did B help her? Maybe she's scheming too. Danyang, why didn't you tell me that you needed me then? I wouldn't dare to. Since the prince had gone away, you've been locked away seeing no one. I was scared of you. No one wanted to talk to you because of your revising. So don't blame me for all this. Uh, it's my fault. Come on, I'll buy you something tasty to eat. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you're right. He wouldn't write this. There's no way he'd write a short letter to end things. Also, he wouldn't have had someone he didn't know to send a letter. Which means, this letter must be fake. Madame Wong, I've seen right through you. Danyang, I really think you're such a smart girl. You're more trusting than me. I would get upset so easily. I didn't think first. Hey, it's okay. I can see some things that maybe you can. But now, you will never call me a stupid girl again. You said that I'm a smart girl, and no one else is just like me. Sister, can we go now and get some of that food you mentioned? I think that it's time. <sighs> All right. <laughs> <sighs> it seems someone is happy today. Auntie, I see it on your face. What is it that made you feel this way? Your uncle just brought me a message. There has been a breach where Gao Jian is now. Deaths have greatly increased. He's found a suitable chance and is about to take action. <laughs> That's great, Auntie. Once Gao Jian's dead, you can finally rest your mind, right? Sin. Ah. <sighs> oh, Auntie, something else just happened. People from Zhao Yang Hall told me they actually saw your son console Lu Jun, and then he wiped away all her tears. <laughs> I already knew that. That is great news. Yan no longer has his eyes set only on Huan Yun. So did you get her to make your son's dragon robe so they could develop a loving relationship? But are you not afraid that Lu Jun might become arrogant like Huan Yun is right now? What do you mean? She wouldn't be like that. Mm -hmm. She'll be fine. Lu Jun will not change. She's not like Huan Yun. I'm not scared of how she grows. Come on, don't get so serious. I was only joking with you. If Lu Jun gives Yan a new heir to the throne, then I would give her whatever she wanted. There was no need to make a new outfit. But still, I'm grateful. Your Majesty, I need to talk to you. Yifu, tell them to leave. Yes. Go out. Yes. Majesty, I was hoping that you could give something to Zhen when your men contact him. Yes, of course. A letter? I'll send out a messenger to him soon. No, it's not. It's an item. What is this? Let me see. The tiger? I thought he broke it. 
He'll be so happy to see this. Hmm. So apart from this, do you have a letter for him too? He will know when he sees that. Oh. <laughs> Majesty. Didn't John ever tell you my nickname was Cupid? <sighs> Consort, there are rumors now. And if you don't stop them, at this rate, her and his majesty will soon become... Even if she's with him, there's nothing I can do. Not in my state. Consort, just go and see his majesty now and give in to him. to work. Go yes. on. Yes. Madam. Ling Long, do you also believe the rumors of me and His Majesty? I wouldn't comment on it. You're close to me. There's something I must tell you. Someone else is in my heart. It's not true. But people here think that it is. Even Madame Shen sounded jealous. Ling Long, before the prince left, he came here to find me. Did you know of that? I didn't. Oh, right. Madame Shen said Madame Wang wanted me to check losses, so I went to the storeroom. You weren't around. Did you wonder why this wasn't checked out before? When we were told to fix them the last time? Madame. Yes, I did. You know, after that happened, a few maids told me that the pattern Madame Shen gave them was actually a peach blossom. <laughs> I've been naive, and I'm too forgiving. Hi, B. Please come here. Greetings, Madame Liu. No, we agreed. You may call me Jen. You're a higher rank now. I must respect that. B, I really thought of you as a sister once. I know that you can write well, but I didn't know you could write exactly like the prince. What do you mean? I don't understand you. Yu Ming had told me that she had given you the crown prince's letter for me. But I thought the consort had done it. Tell me. The termites that day, that was you. The peach blossom that was sewed on. That was your doing too. Of course, Madame Wang promoted you. So come on, what did they promise you? Lu Jin? I've no idea what you're saying. It's okay if you don't. But don't forget, you're still my subordinate. So what if I tore your letter? Am I not allowed to like the prince too? I treat him well, but he only wants you. And that kills me. Why are you much better than me? Okay. You know the truth now. You happy? You like Zan too? If you can, why can't I? But listen, the termites and the peach blossom wasn't me. The mistakes made were all because of you. Lu Jin, I wish I never saved you. Just do what you want to. I'm a lower rank than you. You're prettier than me, and I can't please the royal family like you, so just punish me! <laughs> oh, thank God. 
that was close, but I think she bought it. She's so close with His Majesty. If she talks to him about this, then I'm gonna be doomed. Now what? Now what? The consort has very little power. She can't even protect me. Who else can I go to? Got it! There's still that foolish Shen Jiamin. Really? She... she knows everything? Yes. She came to me with such anger. She knows you're in cahoots with the consort. And she knows that you set Ling Long up with that material. And so what? My father's the great Duke Shen. Who cares if I'm close with Huan Yun? And Ling Long? Well, she's the one who made a mistake. But don't forget, Lu Zhen is close with His Majesty. You mean, he could punish me? So what do I do now? How do I stop all of this? Well, if she does see His Majesty, I'm sure there'll be trouble for you. But I think we can stop her from seeing him. Huh? Will it work? Don't be scared. The prince isn't inside the palace, and if things go wrong, the consort will help you out. I'm still worried. Madam, you have to be strong. We're not trying to kill her. All we want to do is hurt her bad. Really bad. And I seriously don't believe she'd be allowed to stay here much longer. Also, the prince Changguang would stop having feelings of love for such an ugly-looking woman. You're right. Let's do it. I know the route she takes to her hall. I'll find a way to keep her at work for a bit longer. But those people... It's okay. Feng Hua will sort it all out. No one will know. Mm-hmm. Hey, quick. Oh. <gasps> I've always said you're paranoid. Come to bed. No one's here. Come back to bed. Come on. So strange. I'm not that paranoid. Stop spreading lies. If people don't think you are paranoid, then it'll be harder for me to sneak in. Right? Huh? Why'd you lie? <laughs> Come on. It's so dark in here. I can't wait to see you. Come here. Huh? Let me kiss you all over, yeah? <laughs> Why are you wishing so much? Slow down! Oh, it's been such a long time. I've missed your body oh. so much. Now be gentle. You're being too rough. Okay, okay. <laughs>